Dementia refers to common symptoms which get worse over time and occur when certain diseases affect the brain. Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of dementia, although there are others. Most people who are diagnosed with dementia are over the age of 65. However, it is possible to be diagnosed at a younger age. It's just much rarer. Dementia can't be cured, but researchers around the world are working to get a better understanding of the diseases that cause it and to develop effective treatments. The symptoms of dementia make it hard for a person to do daily tasks and carry on with their everyday life. The most common symptoms include memory problems, such as not being able to remember conversations or events that happened recently, communication problems, struggling to find the right words for something or not being able to speak, read and write properly. Research into dementia and communication gives better treatment choices. Poor judgment and confusion, finding it hard to pay bills or keep track of their money or getting lost in familiar places. Dementia can also affect spatial memory, which helps us to remember and recall information that we use when planning a journey, for example. It also helps us to remember the location of objects. Struggling with step-by-step -step instructions, for example, having trouble planning and preparing a meal. Although with age, some people may experience some sort of forgetfulness, this does not mean that they have dementia. Dementia research in our region includes testing new or existing drugs to see if they can help to improve and treat dementia symptoms. When research shows positive results, it can lead to quicker and more efficient treatments for dementia. For example, the ELAD study was trialling a drug that is already used to treat type 2 diabetes. The aim of the research was to try and slow the progress of the disease in different areas of the brain. This might improve dementia-related symptoms. Research also looks at the best ways to diagnose dementia to make sure that care meets people's needs. The SenseCog project adapted an assessment tool that doctors use when diagnosing dementia. This made sure that it was suitable for the visually impaired and hard of hearing patients. In Alzheimer's disease, the part of the brain that is responsible for spatial memory is affected. The Four Mountain study tested patients' spatial memory and helped researchers to understand early on which type of dementia the patient had. Getting an early diagnosis in dementia is important. It allows both the patient and their carer to get a better understanding of the disease. It helps them to know what to expect and to make important decisions about their treatment. It helps them understand the kind of support and care they might need. Around 3% of the people diagnosed with dementia are from ethnic minority communities. This number is expected to double by 2026, with the biggest increase expected within South Asian communities. Join Dementia Research is an online register. It brings together researchers and members of the public to give people the opportunity to take part in dementia research. People from ethnic minority communities are hugely underrepresented on this register. They're also less likely to join in any dementia research. It's very important that people from all ethnic groups take part in dementia related research. This will make sure that future treatments and services for dementia are suitable for people from all ethnic and cultural backgrounds. To join the Join Dementia Research Register, search for Join Dementia Research or visit joindementiaresearch.co.uk.